All right, so what we're looking for is scapular rotation, so the shoulder blade should naturally roll medial border in, lateral border out, and vice versa. There's your beep, switch hands, and we're gonna flip these over, we're gonna go to empty cans. Now, just for demonstration purposes, internally rotate these as much as possible, more, more, more. Notice how the shoulders roll forward, he's gonna hold that, and he's gonna try to counter torque his sternum back up. Big, broad chest. Really conscious not to pull from the low back, but really try to go middle traps to low traps to gently rotate that torso to an elongated spinal position. We slightly move that offset according to horizontal displacement. If we pull that off of that vertical line, it forces that natural body position to be the weight. It really doesn't take a lot of weight on these exercises. These stellar athletes are just doing it with five pounds and it's more than enough. Make sure that line stays long from the top of the head, through the ear, through the shoulders, through the spine, through the hips and the back knee. One elongated posture, holding that. Now gently trying to lift those up according to our ability to stay off your traps. So internally rotated humerus and gently trying to lift that up with that sternum high. Clear. All right, we got a single arm sled row. What we're looking for is a good athletic base. We're gonna hold an X axis and we're gonna challenge your ability to not move those hips, not rotate those knees, definitely don't move the feet. We're gonna keep the midsection in tight. If you wanna rotate that torso, please by all means do so, as long as the shoulder blades are retracted. Tall, pretty posture. Now, the more you rotate your shoulders, the harder it's gonna to be to keep those hips still, those knees still, those feet still. We're gonna go the same amount of time that the athletes were doing the scaption, the same amount of time that second group is doing cleans and bear complex, the same full lot of time that we're doing our quick feats. 30 seconds on the right hand, 30 seconds on the left hand, do that cycle twice before they switch roles and somebody else gets to ride on the sled. All right, our next complex, what we're looking for is our bear complex. We're gonna do a bar. All week, we're really concentrating on some really good light cleans, try to work on our technique and we're gonna push that into a bear complex, but we also wanna work on our ability to bail out of there. So make sure we're gonna set low and bail, guys. You're not just trying to drop the bar, you're trying to practice what would happen if you got stuck at the bottom of a squat and give yourself the programming for dumping that. One of the things we recognize is a lot of you guys are really panicking and you're not safe. Part of giving you confidence in being able to drop to the bottom of a squat is giving you confidence in your ability to get out of there. So one motion at a time, Tina, give me a good clean. Big jump, big shrug, catch. Now stand up tall, recompose, and we're gonna drop the elbows, dip and fire over your head, and gently put it on your back. Now squat, stand up tall, squat, get to the bottom, dump. Beautiful, very good. And we're gonna do the same amount of time that everybody else is doing. Let me see yours, Maggie. Give me a good clean. Now pause, stand up. Now dip and fire, get it over your head. Pause, put it on your back. Now do one perfect squat, stand up. And one squat, get to the bottom, hold, dump. Atta girl, very good. And let me see Preggers. Preggers got a pair of, um, it says 15 on there, but I believe that those are 95s. She's gonna go ahead and squat receive and she's gonna place those down. Now real careful about leaning over versus squatting down. Try to push your butt back and down. Being a frog squat versus just bending over. Thus a lot of people who are going through a prenatal program will definitely suffer from a lot of sciatic pain. That increased bulge, that increased diameter of your inner thoracic cavity pressing back on the spine will inflame a pre-existing condition. If you have any type of sciatic pain, so if you haven't addressed that prior to, it's definitely gonna exacerbate itself during pregnancy. So one of the things that we wanna avoid is excessive amount of leaning forward. Clip! Now really trying to concentrate on keeping those elbows straight and locked. The straighter, more locked that those elbows are, the more tension goes to that midsection. We wanna work on your ability to stabilize your spine as fast as possible. So we're gonna challenge that by going from a wide squat to a wider squat. There's your babe, go to your other side. We're gonna go 90 degree abduction and hold. And switch them over here, cross catch. Beautiful, number three and the four, we're gonna go with the right leg. 
cross catch, cross catch. As you're doing that, we want to try to add just a little bit of restabilization of that left knee. Crossing over will cause you to abduct and externally rotate. We want to try to get that sucker back into that athletic position as if we're going to run right or left, left or right. Applying just a little bit of pressure, it's very difficult to resist any type of resistance from Mike Cozine, but what we want to do is just fight to the best of our ability. Try to breathe over there, Michael. Cross catch, cross catch. Is, is he wheezing? Cross catch. Beautiful. Cross catch. Very good. And 30 seconds of this madness, and then Craig is going to go for 30 seconds. That'll rotate us out back into the weight room. Here we come. All right, Tina, make sure that we try to keep that, relatively speaking, close to a 90 degree elbow flexion. Now it's completely up to you whether you want to drop those elbows lower into that W or you want to stay in that field goal position. But the midsection stays in nice and tight. Keep that belly buddy drawn in so that we're not going to pull excessively from the low back. And we're gently going to keep those shoulder blades pinched together at that beep. So that goes for about 30 seconds and then we're going to slowly work into that external rotation. So we've got a nice easy retracted shoulder blades, depressed shoulder blades and then we're slowly gonna go with the beep somewhere and then we're gonna spin them forward and then we're gonna spin them back. There's your beep. Shake them out smoothly. Now this isn't fast. We wanna work on your ability to catch certain things. So as you're going through, you feel like it's not in a perfect notch, smoothly bring it back. Good, slow that down a bit, Tina. Smoothly bring it back, smoothly bring them up so that the humerus is rotating. Humerus is rotating. Beautiful. Very good. Stay off your upper traps. Stay off your upper traps. a girl. Smooth. Rotate those up. Rotate those forward. And hold. Last one. 30-30. Finish it out. Six, five, four, three. Go get them. Gently kick. Slowly kick, Craig. Extend, extend, extend. Now, when you kick, don't let it pull you towards me. Keep away. Very good. We're going straight karate kid style. We're doing the crane. Lay back. Hey, she won't do it. She will not do it, folks. She's afraid. Yeah. It's not as bad as you think it is. You're making it out to be a significantly bigger deal. Now you're handicapped. You've crutched yourself. Hi, baby. Finish him out. Good receive. Now drop that sucker down. Squat, 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 and dump. Beautiful. Very good, Tina. Dip and fire. Hoop. Beautiful. Walk, squat, squat, squat. Now stand up, now scoop forward, now slowly squat, now just lay down, lay back, lay back Tina, tuck your head, turn your head, fantastic job, that's exactly what you're supposed to do, that's it, good job, a girl. Clear him, switch, and here we go, pop, pop, beautiful, good quick feet. Snap, 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 snap. Very good. Just a real quick roach stomp. Stomp, stomp, and then pause. Stomp, stomp. Beautiful. Stomp, stomp. Beautiful. There's your beep. Yeah, Mike. Tap, 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 tap. All right, here we go, Craig. Pull your butt down. What we're looking for is a big jumping shrug and using an active hip, trying to pull your butt underneath that bar and jerk receive and bailing and clear. Really trying to get our athletes to be very, very comfortable with bailing at some point in time. They're gonna miss a lift and we would want them to actually practice bailing out of there, thus increasing the ability to be safe. So giving them a safe way out. <laughs> 